everyone. Thanks for joining me today. Um, today I am going to share some tips that have helped me um, somewhat successfully, <laughs> I don't know, um, to have a low buy, no buy. Um, I understand that people are on different journeys in their makeup collection. Some people have large collections, some people have small collections, and some people don't feel like they need to be on a low buy. Um, but if you do um, and you want to hear my tips, just keep on watching. Okay, so um, two years ago I did a video on this um, and I've learned some more um, uh, tips along the way. Um, so I decided to do another video on this. Um, last year I was going to give you an update on just the things that I, um, just months that I was on low, a low buy and no buy. Um, <clears throat> but I really wanted to test myself and, and see if I can actually do this low buy. Um, because the year before I, uh, I failed miserably. So, so I wanted to document everything and I did document everything and that, that was extremely helpful. So the first tip that I have for you, um, that has helped me. Okay. So this may not help you, but I had to unsubscribe to a lot of, um, influencers, uh, YouTube gurus, whatever you want to call it. I had to unsubscribe to a lot of them because, um, I mean, that's the main reason why I have such a large collection is because I was watching them and I felt like I needed um, to have what they had. And um, if they were promoting a product, I, I needed to have that product. And um, so I, um, I had to unsubscribe to a lot of them. Um, and that was that that really helped me a lot. Um, and just all around social media too. I mean, if you feel like that, that's, if you're watching videos and you feel like, man, you know, all the new products are constantly um, coming out with new products, then maybe you should think about unsubscribing to certain people that you watch. Um, <clears throat> also I had to unsubscribe to a lot of people, um, from Instagram because for me, Instagram was actually worse, um, because the pictures are so beautiful. The packaging is beautiful. They usually take pictures when the product is new. Um, whereas panners, we <laughs> um, take pictures of the products that are, are used or abused. So um, I don't know, maybe that's something that you may want to think about is just unsubscribing to certain people on YouTube, Instagram, wherever else. Those are the two platforms that I use mainly is Instagram and YouTube. Um, but anywhere else you feel like you're going to be tempted to buy something and you want to go on a low buy, then I would say try unsubscribing to, um, you know, people that influence you to buy. Um, and as a result of unsubscribing to a lot of these influencers, I ended up subscribing to a lot more project panners. And that was actually more motivating for me to finish up my products. Instead of going out to get more products, I was able to just um, pick out products that I wanted to fi finish up and really focus on um, using what I have instead of bringing more things into my collection. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so my second tip would be to um, delete or unsubscribe emails um, from Sephora, from Ulta, from Macy's, from, um, what's it called, um, Nordstrom, anything that will tempt you, um, that has been extremely helpful for me. I still do get those emails, but what I do is I delete them. Um, if you feel like you just can't resist, I would have those store emails in a separate account if you feel like you can't resist. Um, don't click on them. Don't um, resist from the coupons that Sephora sends you, the um, the five points, three points that Urban Decay has or Lorac has. Those will definitely get you because they have gotten me. So resist. Delete those emails or get rid of them or unsubscribe or whatever you have to do. Okay, so number three. Um, if you are getting ads in the mail, 
throw them out. I'm telling you, throw them out. Don't even look at them. Don't open them because you're going to want what they have in the ads, okay? Because I've done that. I was on a no buy um, during the 21 days of beauty and I opened up the ads. <laughs> Why? Why did I do that? They got me. I mean, I wanted certain things and yeah, don't do it. Throw them out, okay? Throw them out. Number four, do a makeup inventory. Um, I mean, I have done them and they're super helpful. I mean, when I look at the numbers, I am shocked and I don't need certain things. Um, I don't need blush. I don't need lipstick. I don't need nail polish. I don't need, I don't need anything really. Um, I bet you, you would be shocked at the numbers that you have because you don't realize what you have um, until you go through it and you count up stuff. Or if you are on a low buy, I would say restrict yourself, limit yourself from maybe going on a no buy with your lipsticks um, or your blushes or whatever it is that you have the most of. I would say maybe say, okay, I'm not going to buy lipsticks this year or I'm only going to buy two lipsticks, lipsticks this year. Or I know for me, that's the biggest thing. Uh, my biggest weaknesses are blush, lipstick, um, and nail polish. So I really have to try to restrict myself like with a lipsticks because lipsticks do go bad um, easily. So I have tried really hard not to buy lipstick. Um, and I'm going to try really hard this year as well not to buy um, lipsticks because I don't need them. I have so many and I've been trying to dwindle down my numbers um, with my lipstick collection. Also think about, like I had just mentioned, um, how much stuff you have. I mean, are you going to realistically be able to go through all of this stuff? Like for me, I have so many lipsticks and if I buy more lipsticks, like it's, are they all going to go bad before I can actually use them? Am I going to be able to enjoy them? Um, with powder products, you guys know some of these things take like a blush. It takes a really long time to pan a blush, to finish a blush. I mean, let alone pan, finish a blush. Um, highlighters, you know, all these things. Like, are you going to be able to use this? Um, are you going to be able to enjoy it before it goes bad? So, yeah, those are things that you really need to think about as you purchase more and new makeup if you have a large collection. Number five would be to shop your stash. I mean, I'm almost positive you have dupes for whatever has been released. Um, I'm sure of it. Um, there's been a lot of videos. I know Amanda has done videos on just um, palettes uh, that she doesn't want to purchase. So she finds something in her collection that's similar to what's been released, um, as well as Jessica. Uh, and Amber F as well is always telling us, you know, uh, as she's panning a palette, she's telling, oh, you can use this shadow, or that shadow, this is similar to that shadow. Um, so you can always find dupes for um, what you have, lipsticks, whatever it is, I'm sure you have a dupe in your collection. Other thing is, if you find yourself getting bored with the makeup that you're panning, I would say do a um, makeup basket, a weekly makeup, makeup basket or a monthly makeup basket um, so you don't get bored. And I'm sure you will discover things that you haven't used in a while. And I know I've done that is I rediscover products in my collection all the time because I haven't been able to use it because I have so many products that I haven't I've ne been neglecting this poor little eyeshadow. So. I would say rediscover your stash and enjoy what you have. You don't need whatever is newly released. I guarantee it. You have a dupe and you have plenty of makeup. Um, I'm sure of it that you can come up with so many different looks every day. So number six is have accountability. That's the best. Um, have someone there that you can talk to about um, 
struggling with buying makeup, you know, someone who understands, someone who is a makeup lover like you. Um, or you can have your husband tell you not to spend that money. Um, but, you know, uh, we're here to support each other. And um, let, us, let us know. Let, let me know. Tell me how you're struggling with it. I know I've had some friends that I have had to say, hey, you know, I'm really thinking about buying this. And they'll say, no, don't get that. You know, so that's been extremely helpful for me as well is to talk through it. Like, you know, yeah, maybe I don't need that product. Why, why do I want that? Like, is it because, you know, I'm having the itch to buy something or is it because, you know, I like the packaging, whatever it is, please let me know if you're struggling with this. I'd love to just talk to you about it. I'd love to even share with you as well when I'm struggling. Um, and just dialogue with you guys um, about it and we could talk each other out of buying that product so okay so number seven was extremely helpful for me and that was to set goals for myself um, one of the goals that I set last year was to um, pick certain months that I was going to go on a low buy so for me, I knew that January was going to be a month that I was going to go on a low buy because it's my birthday. I knew that April was going to be a low buy month because of the 21 days of beauty and I didn't want to restrict myself. Um, and then there were certain months that I just, you know, I, I had to just pick the months and say, okay, I'll go on the low buy. So for example, so July and August of last year, I was supposed to be on a no buy, but I broke it. You know, it happens, it was hard, <clears throat> but at least I had set my goals for that. Um, I wanted to as well be on a low buy in November because of the VIB sale. Um, and in December when I got Christmas money, but I ended up not buying anything in November or December. So, um, so that was extremely helpful for me. Um, so you may have different goals. I know some people who have budgets. Um, they don't want to spend a certain amount of money or they roll the money over for the next month. Um, and that's how they do it. I didn't have a budget. Um, I knew of a girl who um, she wanted to just buy 12 products for the year. Um, she could buy whatever she wanted, but it was just going to be 12. Um, and if she didn't buy, let's say she bought something in January, and didn't buy anything in February, she would buy, you know, two more things in uh, March. So have goals for yourself. Don't, you know, if you know that you can't go on a no buy for a whole year, you know, maybe just pick certain months that you want to um, go on low buys and no buys. Um, you know, um, have a budget. Um, so, <sighs> I don't know, whatever works for you, but have a goal. Okay, lastly, number eight, and that would be to watch videos that motivate you not to purchase products, you know, new releases. Um, so I enjoy watching anti-hauls. I know some people don't like anti-hauls, but for me, it's helpful because I like, a lot of times I, I'm thinking about purchasing a product that they're talking about and then once I listen to the reasoning behind why the person doesn't want to purchase that product, um, you know, they've already talked me out of not getting that product. So I really enjoy them. Um, I, I really enjoy watching um, people who do low buys as well because I feel like um, <clears throat> I'm motivated. Um, I feel like I'm doing this with them um, and we can support each other. Um, and I also want to see what they've, if they've been able to do and um, they've been successful in their no buys or low buys or whatever it is. Um, and um, it's just a way of motivating me um, and I hope to motivate them. Um, so I really enjoy those videos. Declutters. I love watching declutters um, because um, a lot of times people discuss why they're getting rid of that product when they're decluttering it and a lot of times I've seen people declutter the same product and 
um, that motivates me sometimes not to buy that product because they're getting rid of it. The reason why I watch declutters and I love declutters and it motivates me not to buy any more makeup because they're getting rid of stuff anyway. And lastly, um, I like to watch dupe videos. So I've enjoyed watching um, Clone Wars that Amanda D and uh, Jessica from Beauty and Baseball have done um, just to see, you know, just shop my stash and see what, um, what eyeshadows I can um, dupe um, with the new releases that have come about. So anyways, that is it. I have talked so much and I have to go. But um, thank you for sticking around and hearing my tips. Please let me know if you have any more tips um, down below. I'd love to hear how you guys are motivating, motivating yourselves not to purchase um, makeup products. Um, and we could talk about it. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.